hello guys welcome to my youtube channel it's your girl sandra in okay aka the life is too short so guys stop thinking if today is the first time i'm seeing my video thank you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel if you've been seeing my video before thank you so much for coming back don't forget to like and share this video so today i will be talking about the sixth misconception people have about black women not only other race but also the misconception black men has about black women so number one is that black women are so loud and ghetto some people some men will even take it further and say i will not date a black woman i will not date a black woman i don't just they are too loud i don't like to date them i cannot marry them excuse me sir the fact that you saw that you met a black woman that was loud to you does not make you to generalize every black woman you see and first of all what did you do to that black woman that make her to be loud to you so please stop generalizing every black woman as being loud and ghetto so the second one will be black women are always lonely and bitter this and i've seen this one before when you are a woman and you don't you are not married you don't have a boyfriend you don't have a, you don't have a kid or you don't have kids and maybe somebody annoys you or somebody offends you and you decided to explain or pour out your heart to that person to let the person know his fault or her fault and you hear people say ah she's shouting because there's nobody to get married to her she's shouting because she's bitter because no husband no child and she doesn't have a boyfriend the fact that she decides to be single does not make her bitter does not make her lonely somebody can decide not to get married it's their own decision it's their life so do not do not because you see is, do not do not take it because you see She's, she's trying to explain herself. She's trying to let you know that you offended her. And next thing, you just generalize it because she's lonely and she's bitter, she's jealous. Maybe you, ha you yourself, you have a boyfriend or you have a girlfriend. You will say, and she's jealous and she's bitter because she's lonely. Not good. So the third one is that black women has bad attitude. Mm, are you sure about that? You hear people say black women has this bad attitude. Excuse me. For example, now I will give my I will make an example. You are walking along the street, and somebody you just you hear one uh, somebody's voice, and the person is trying to call call on you, and and the way the person is calling on you is very annoying. Like, hey girl, will you answer that kind of person? You will feel embarrassed. So when you call a black woman like that, she will feel embarrassed. If you have anything to say to a black woman, walk straight to her because she's a queen. Do not call her in that kind of manner. Like it happens everywhere, even in Nigeria. Ah, some say, I they call you the former B. I they call you the former B. Not be saying you even fine now. It's not that you are beautiful. And they call you in the form. If, 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 if they call you like that, how you will feel? If somebody call you like that, how will you feel? You will feel embarrassed now. So why do you think, okay, she don't have the right to feel embarrassed? She must feel embarrassed. It's normal. It's normal to feel embarrassed like that. So do not say because she refused to answer you, it means she's been she's been uh, she has a bad attitude you feel embarrassed so if you have anything to say to a black woman go straight to her and approach her better than respect her so that she will respect you so the the fourth one is that black women will not submit to a man see let me tell you this fact no black woman will submit to a man a weak man take it or leave it no black woman we submit to a weak man, a man that is weak. When I say a man that is weak, I mean a man that that 
that has nothing that has nothing that is driving him or let me say that doesn't have a, a future a future that doesn't have tomorrow plan that doesn't have plan there's one saying that say, that goes like this a man that fail to plan plan to fail that is just the truth when when a man when you ask a man okay from now to like two years where do you see yourself and the man is saying i don't just know i don't do. if you are a woman will you stand and listen to that kind of thing we need a man that is confident a black man needs a man that will protect her you cannot you cannot be with a man you cannot even listen to a man that that doesn't have anything that is driving him he doesn't have that drive he doesn't have the, the 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 ability to even make anything work how can you be with that kind of man so it's not our fault yeah because we see we, we will see it early so that's why we run away so do not say black women has a, a will not submit to a man if you are a weak man no black woman will submit to you if you are a man that cannot feed your family no black woman will submit to you that is the truth so the the the, the fifth one is that black women does not like their natural hair let me tell you the greatest possession of a black woman is a god-given hair the natural one i've seen some channel a tutorial channel whereby women black women are taking time to maintain their natural hair they are going natural so when i see some some men some men are saying they don't as in, they don't appreciate their natural hair sometimes they are covering their hair because of heat they don't want anything to damage their hair they are just covering it it's not that they don't like their natural hair they love their natural hair because they are taking time to make sure that hair is healthy and is growing well so do not say because you're seeing people very weak with you just feel that they don't like their natural hair they don't like what what god gave to them so they have different reasons of putting on wig so do not have that kind of mis uh, misconception and also I've heard people say black men they always give birth because of ch uh, child uh, support they love to be baby mamas because they want the man to take care of them excuse me it's not every black woman you see that want a man to take care of them it's not every black woman you see that want to give birth to a child because they want a man to take care of them I don't like hearing those things. It's annoying. It's annoying. Some will say they just like ch uh, child support. That's why they just want to give birth, give birth to a child. It's not everyone. It's not every black woman that like that kind of lifestyle. So do not generalize every black woman. So this this misconception I just noted now is most times coming from our black men, our kings that are supposed to be protecting, that are supposed to be protecting black women, that are supposed to be uplifting black women. They are the one that is disrespecting black women. So that if you disrespect your own, how do you think others will, dis will respect them? That is just the fact. Fine, if you want to get married to a white woman, you are free. If you want to get married from another race, you are free. But, but do not, do not bring down a black woman because you want to marry, because you want favor, or you want to marry another race. You have to, you have to love your own so that others can be able to love them. Do not always say, I've seen some documentary whereby some men will say, black men are so uh, loud, that's why I cannot marry them. If another race is listening to what you're saying, how do you think they are going to see a black woman? Black women are strong, black women are confident, they know what they want, they know their drive. So I don't like that situation whereby black men that are supposed to be that are supposed to be bringing, that are supposed to be respecting their own, that are supposed to be loving their own, they are bringing down black women. Please, black men, we need to do more so that other people can be able to respect your own. When your own is not respected, they are not going to respect you. That is the truth. They are not going to respect you even if you marry from another race. You are free to marry from another race, but do not bring the queens down because you want to marry from another race so guys that is my own that is what i feel like saying today thank you so much for watching i hope to see you in my next video thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel till next time my lovely people bye bye bye